In this video, we will learn how a C++ program is run. In other words, what happens under the hood when we run the code. When you're learning a programming language, understanding what happens when it is run can help put the code you write in perspective of the larger picture. That code being a piece of the broader program. Firstly, it is worth mentioning that C++ is a compiled language and is statically typed. What does this mean? In computer programming, there are two types of languages, compiled languages and interpreted languages. Let's take a look at a real-world analogy for what these mean. If there is a book that is in another language, one you are not familiar with, there are two ways for you to understand the information in the book. One is to get a copy translated into the language you understand. The other would be to have someone that speaks both languages, the one that you speak and the one the book is in, read the book to you line by line. A compiled language is like the first scenario. It gets converted directly into machine code, which the computer understands and can execute. An interpreted language is different. It gets run through a program called an interpreter that translates it into machine code line by line. The fact that C++ is a compiled language means that when we run the code, it gets compiled into machine code that is directly executed on the machine and does not need an interpreter, the middleman, so to speak. Statically typed means that C++ variables are of a specific type. If you've ever written Python code, you may be familiar with the concept of being able to assign a variable any value in the program. For example, a variable holding an integer could later hold a bool, etc. For this reason, we call Python a dynamically typed language. C++, in contrast, is statically typed. Now, let's understand what happens under the hood when a C++ program is run. The code that we are writing is referred to as source code. Each file of code that we write needs to get compiled, which means it gets translated into machine code, aka an object file. Since a program usually consists of multiple files, each of these becomes a separate object file. The object files then get put through a linker, which combines them into a single executable file that can be run by the machine. 